Any media firm can show you a few good ads. At Envision, we believe one of the things that sets us apart from the competition is our ability to make every ad for each client a strong one. We know you're working hard to raise every dollar and connect with every voter. So we make sure that each ad you run is as powerful as it possibly can be. There are no cookie cutter ads here. Case in point, Martin Heinrich's re-election campaign in New Mexico's first congressional district. In this perennial swing district, Martin faced an appealing opponent with very little baggage, a tsunami of negative advertising from right-wing groups, and the Republican wave that swept away dozens of his colleagues in similar situations. What you see here is each and every ad we aired in Martin's race, resulting in a victory in a seat that most pundits had labeled a toss-up at best. If you said Martin Heinrich seems like a man in a hurry, you'd be right. He's in a hurry to get things back on track for New Mexico. Martin's been home 82 of the 85 weeks he's served in Congress. He and his staff have helped over 1,800 people get things like veterans benefits and social security assistance. Martin's held over 350 constituent meetings. He's helped small businesses get the credit they need to hire more workers. And he's fought to save 1,000 jobs at Kirtland Air Force Base. Martin Heinrich, all New Mexico, all the time. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message. Growing up, my dad was an electrician, and my mom worked in a factory. Even though they worked hard and stretched every dime, there were still some tough times along the way. It's no secret that times are hard right now for too many New Mexico families. That's why I led the effort to extend unemployment insurance, fund job training in new technologies, and ensure that women get paid fairly for the work that they do. I'm Martin Heinrich, and I approve this message because we still have so much work to do. John Barella wants to take us back, back to the policies of George Bush and Dick Cheney. Barella and friends support tax breaks for the wealthiest Americans. He's pledged to protect special tax breaks for companies that ship our jobs overseas. Barella and his friends would allow CEOs to take huge bonuses. And Barella is against cracking down on reckless Wall Street behavior. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message because we can't afford to let John Barella take us back. While New Mexico workers struggle, John Barella has been fighting to create jobs in foreign countries. Barella was a DC lobbyist pushing to let George W. Bush negotiate unfair trade deals. Trade deals that made it easier for corporations to ship our jobs to India and China. Now Barella has signed a pledge promising to protect tax breaks for corporations that outsource our jobs instead of tax cuts for companies that create jobs here at home. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message. It certainly is hard to believe. Lobbyist John Barella and his special interest friends are lying about Martin Heinrich. Martin Heinrich never voted to send a single job to China, but John Barella has made a living helping ship U.S. jobs to foreign countries. Barella pushed to give George W. Bush more authority to negotiate bad trade deals, and Barella was paid to lobby for China to get special trade status, sending thousands of American jobs overseas. I'm Martin Heinrich, and I approve this message. $530 a month, that's my social security. I get by, but I couldn't without it. New Mexico seniors like Liz rely on social security, but John Barella sides with the politicians and special interests who want to privatize it, meaning Barella and friends would risk social security and the stock market. I don't trust this John Barella. Times are tough enough for people like me. Mr. Barella, don't mess with my social security. I'm Martin Heinrich and I approve this message. When the 150th Fighter Wing at Kirtland Air Force Base was facing elimination, one person in Washington stepped up and led the fight to keep it there, Martin Heinrich. As a member of the Armed Services Committee, Heinrich worked tirelessly to find a new mission for the Tacos. Now, the Tacos and 1,000 Central New Mexico jobs are staying at Kirtland. I'm Martin Heinrich, and I approve this message because there's nothing more important than protecting New Mexico jobs and keeping our nation safe.
What did John Barella do before he ran for Congress? I went to D.C. to lobby. That's right. Barella was a Washington, D.C. lobbyist. Just look at the records. Barella registered to lobby George W. Bush and others, promoting trade deals that made it easier for corporations to ship our jobs overseas. I went to D.C. to lobby. Now Barella wants to go back to Washington so he can protect tax breaks for companies that outsource our jobs. I'm Martin Heinrich, and I approve this message. By now, we've all had enough of these commercials, but it's important to remember just what's at stake in this election. Especially in times like these, New Mexicans need a representative who works hard for them, one who puts our interests ahead of the special interests. I've always done that, and with your vote, I'll keep fighting to grow jobs in New Mexico, preserve Social Security, and make sure our veterans get the benefits they've earned. I'm Martin Heinrich, and I approve this message because there's still so much work to be done.